Mike's on. Mike's on. All right, a little after five here uh, as we uh, finish up the Wednesday program. Tomorrow we'll be at the uh, Paley Center, 52nd Street. And then uh, Friday we'll be back here for the last show. Um, What's the matter? You're getting beat up. What, what, what'd you do now? Uh, what, I, what did you I, we left out some Yankee no, fans. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't do anything. All right, don't give me we did anything. Who did you? No, you, I, you're not on this one. I said, no, no, no. Uh, now, I said to you, are there any Yankee fans left? And you said there's none left. I thought you who were referring you to, like, full-time out? hosts. That's what I was. Well, who, right. So who are we missing? Well, they're a, they're a fill-in guy. Well, Malusis is the full-time overnight, so Mark Malusis is a, a, a Yankee fan. Uh, John Jastrzemski is a Yankee fan. Well, how Chris- do we know what John Jastrzemski is? I haven't heard John Jastrzemski do a show in five years. I mean, so how would I know he's a Yankee fan? So you got to know that. Yeah. Uh, Chris Moore is a Yankee fan. I believe Jody Mack is a Yankee yeah, fan. Yeah, but they're not, they're not, I'm talking about regular guys. And there's no offense to any of those guys, but we're talking about regular guys here. We were talking about basically the day, you know, I, and Melissa, you can make a case for him because he's on regular schedule, but I was really talking about the day parts. Do we have anybody who's a Yankee fan? And we really I, don't. That's right? what I thought you meant. I did mean that. I did mean that. So if the other guys are ticked, the heck with them. I mean, I'm not worried about them. But the point is, I'm not. so they're Yankee fans, but you know what? Until they get on a regular ride here, the, you know, the question is, Look at this. Morning show, Boomer's a Met fan, right? Is Boomer a Met fan? Is he even a baseball fan? Yes. I don't know. Is he a Met fan? Yeah, Met fan. I don't know who Boomer roots for, so I'm asking you. Does he root for? Yeah, he's a Met fan. Okay. Joe and Evan, Met fans, right? Yes. All right. Uh, and Giannotti is a Met fan as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so Giannotti's a Met fan, too. So all Met fans, no Yankee fans. I know Conan roots for the Texas Rangers, I don't know who the other guys, other people root for. I don't know. I should say, ladies and gentlemen, root for. I don't know but uh, who they root for. But um, Continent was a Texas Ranger fan, if I remember right. Right? Am I right? Hey, you are right. Yeah. So I think I, he was a Met fan growing up. Yeah, and then they traded Mookie Wilson, and yeah, he was, was upset. Mookie Wilson. Yeah, so he was a Mookie Wilson fan. Okay? So he's not a Yankee fan either. So that's what my, that was my point. There were no day part. You know, no everyday regular people. Even at night, Summers is a Met fan. Oh, we know Summers is a Met fan. I counted Summers, but I know Summers is a Met fan. We know that. So you don't have, I just said that. So we stand by it. Now, Malusis, I guess we could count Malusis. He's a, yeah, because it's overnight, but he's a Yankee fan. He's always been a Yankee fan, so I count him. Okay? But still, don't worry about getting beat. You got to be a little tougher than that. Don't worry, just take it. Just tell him. I'm, uh, I'm tough yeah, enough. I'm fighting it. back. I just figured I'd let you know I was getting some flack. Oh, no, it's okay. Flack's good for you. It's good. Make it tougher. It's good for you. Getting flack from guys like, you know, John Jastrzemski. Well, you know, that's good. well it, was, it was more of John Jastrzemski's fans than John himself. He's got fans. That's good. That is good. That is good. We're happy for when that. Is that's part of the sure When I... is he on? Like, where can I hear him if I want to hear him? Where do I hear him? I think his main shift is Saturday overnight in the summer. Oh, Jeez, I mean. Let oh, me, he, let and me... he also does uh, fill-in work, and he fills in at the network as well. Okay. He does shows for the network. Okay, the next time I hear the network will be the first. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm not that worried about the network, but uh, so Dostremski does he, he? He fills in. Like, am I going to hear him over Christmas? Is he doing it again? I would to say yes. Have they put the secret of schedule out yet? They not still have not put a schedule out for next week. Do you think they'll put one out next week? I can tell you, I'll be hosting Christmas night. So Christmas night. Well, after the Steeler game. So whatever that might be after That's midnight. That's actually a very, very good gig. You know that? That is a great gig. Sunday night, Christmas night, Monday night, after the game, you're on, right? Yes. That is a great time to be on. First of all, the people at home, they're tired of looking at their family. They've been looking at their family for two days. They don't want to look at them anymore. So they are looking for something a diversion. So that is actually good to be on that night. It actually is good. Uh, that is actually a good time to be on. Dog once had one of the great games of all time. He had the Fog Bowl on a holiday to go crazy about. He actually got that was actually a good game for him. I was a good, I remember that. He was uh, he was screaming about that was the uh, the Eagles and the Bears in that Fog game. He was on during that as a matter of fact or right after it. So he he had that game once. So good. All right, so we uncovered a couple of Yankee fans along the way. That's it. But still, the point we were looking for was we still agreed to is that of the uh, regulars, the day part regulars, we don't have any Yankee fans. A lot of miserable hosts. Yeah. So 
we got the people who are going to be really upset. Yeah, they're going to be moaning and groaning about the Mets. That's what it's going to come down to. And, you know, not loving the fact when the Yankees get Manny Machado to, to put into that lineup because you got to, you know, got to get that lineup a little stronger. Yeah, you got to look at that lineup and say, hey, listen, so this is what the Yankees did. The Yankees put it up on the board and they had, you know, they had Judge here and they had Bird there and they had Sanchez there and they had Stanton there. And they said, you know what? I think we need a little more power. I got it. Let's get Manny Machado. Throw him in the middle of the lineup. So, makes plenty of sense to me. Absolutely. All right, Tony in uh, Hoboken. What's up, Tony? Hey, Mike. Uh, definitely sharing and the nostalgia, a little melancholy. Uh, I was a kid in the ugliest green Mercury Cougar you can ever imagine in the 90s, driving around listening to you. And as I get ready to look at colleges for my daughter now, it just brings back so many memories. And, again, a lot of sadness here and you go, but, just way Thank more you. good memories than Thank anything you. else. Thank you. Appreciate it. What college is she going to? Well, we're looking. Uh, she likes uh, Seton Hall. She likes right. um, she likes Michigan, Penn State. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's, that's good schools. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying. We're trying. Well, but good. she's doing the work. We're doing, doing the work. Thank good you luck. for asking. Me. Good luck. Thank good you. luck. Have a good time. Good luck. Rob in Westchester. What's up, Rob? Hey, Mike. As a, I've been a police officer for 24 years. I just want to thank you for getting us through uh, some trying days. It's well, thank nice you. Back, thank you very nice much. Nice to get back in the patrol. Nice to get back in the car and hear your voice. Are you, know, you a Are sports. you a Westchester police officer or a city police officer? Uh, I'm a town of Greenberg police officer in Westchester County. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, just real quick, uh, with second base being open next year, is it Torres' job yes. or does he have to win it in spring training? It's his to win. He has to win it, but still it's his to win. Uh, He's the odds-on favorite to win it. Uh, He's got to go out and win it, or Torres could wind up with it, but he's got to win it, but I think he will. Mike in Philly, what's up, Mike? Hey, Mike. Hey. What's happening? Hey, Mike, I got to tell you something real quick. You know, when Roy Holiday, the day he died, you were the one that broke the news to me. As a lifelong Philly fan, you know, I'll never forget that moment because I've been listening. Everybody's sharing the memories with you. But you know, Mike, I always remember that. I always associate you with Roy Holiday's passing with you breaking the news. You were the one that said that the news out there is the plane went down and he didn't make it. And you know what, Mike, you broke a story there. See, Mike, you know, everybody I've listened to, this has been amazing. It's been, it's been great. I mean, you know, and uh, let me get to my point, though, Mike, with the football. I want to know, what do you think the Eagles' chances of winning the uh, – the NFC Championship game. They still have a chance. They have a chance. Uh, I wouldn't put it at zero, but I wouldn't put it at a lot. I think they lose a lot with him. Just the extra stuff that he brings. He's just got that knack. He, you know, he sh- and it was going to be hard with him, but I, I, I just think it'll be really hard without him. Now, Foles can play, but... You know what? It's just it's a difficult chore. It really is. It's not not easy at all. And I tell you, I think I think Rogers is going to come back and play really well. I don't know if they'll win all three of those games though, because that is a tough go. Then not you know the Packers have some weaknesses. They're not that strong in some areas. And to me, uh, although Rogers is great. Winning these games is not easy. Winning at Carolina will not be easy. Winning against Minnesota will not be easy. Those will be very tough games. You know, beating Minnesota, even in Green Bay, and then even the Lions, the last game of the season, is not a gimme uh, in Detroit by any stretch. So the odds on, even with Rodgers winning those three, will be very hard. This week's game, fascinating. You know, we didn't look at this week's games yet, other than, of course, the game, which is the uh, Pats. And last week's loss means nothing to the Pats. If they win this game and then win the last two, they'll still be the one seed and they've got everything they need. So this game is where it's at. The Pats are a three-point favorite in Pittsburgh. You have that. The Cowboys sitting there hoping to run the table. They're in, the, in uh, Oakland take on the Raiders. The Falcons looking to run the table and win the division are in Tampa to take on the Bucks. You have the Panthers hosting Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, which turns into a terrific game. Carolina had a big win last week against uh, against Minnesota. Um, then you have the games that, 
Well, no, one more. Seattle and the Rams. Seahawks need this game. A lot of those six and six teams need the Seahawks to lose. Seahawks uh, hosting the Rams this week. Another big game. And I'll tell you, what does it tell you that the 49ers, now with Garoppolo, are favored against Tennessee? How about that? What a difference a quarterback makes. And I remember people getting on my case for saying that I would take pay two number ones for Garoppolo. Ask them now if they pay two number ones for Garoppolo. After two weeks, 2-0, two 4-0 and oh, and oh in his career, now favored against Tennessee this week and sitting on a contract that will be probably about $150 million, $130 to $150 million for Garoppolo. That is, that is going to turn out to be the steal for the Niners. Now, Belichick was in a tough spot. He was going to lose him. He couldn't sign him. They tried to sign him. They got the pick they like, which is the early two pick, which they love because they feel it's the value of a one and it doesn't cost what a one costs. So they think it's one of the great – the Pats think those are the best picks in the draft, those first couple of picks of the second round. Uh, but still, they would have liked to get more. They needed to move him out because he was about to be a free agent. And now he goes to San Francisco, and already they win two games and are favored to win this week against a team that has playoff aspirations. How about that for a team that was 1-10 three weeks ago? What a difference a quarterback makes is the McMahon.